Amidst the California Joshua trees and the scrub brush of the Mojave Desert, About 400 dedicated fans camped out and created their own world, or as they put it, a wasteland. It's a post-apocalyptic weekend camping event. That's right. In this uncertain time, those who want to live it up like it's a nuclear holocaust find solace at Wasteland Weekend. A gathering for fans of the Mad Max movie franchise and everything else post-apocalyptic. In 2004, I started getting Mad Max fans together here in the United States. They were just small get-togethers, uh, people bringing out their cars, kind of cruising around. And after a while, you know, we wanted, to, we wanted to expand. We wanted to take it out to the desert. In its second year, the event has drawn even more people, sporting leather, buckles, odd-looking weapons, mohawks, lots of mohawks, face paint, and souped-up cars adorned with fake guns. And their fans are so dedicated to authenticity, some even imported the same kind of vehicle used in the Mad Max movies, Australian muscle cars with right-hand drive. And about the time I saw Mad Max, I had just graduated from high school and I was completely blown away by the film. Uh, and I guess it's become a lifelong obsession. Paul Miller of Los Angeles turned his Ford Falcon into something Mel Gibson might just drive. You know, I think the draw of it all is uh, the creativity. There's an edge to it. A tour around the compound shows it's a small community, complete with a store for the latest in post-atomic bomb apparel, and the event's canteen, why it's called the Atocalypse. Where else could you see a man spreading his peanut butter with a knife fit for a struggle to the death? I love costumes. I like to dress up, and really any excuse I have, <laughs> I'll take. <laughs> So what is the draw? Do these folks just like a good costume romp, or do they really think the end is nigh? It's, uh, it's a lot of fun to sort of see what society would become, how you would act in a post-apocalyptic kind of age. Maybe they're thinking that this, this may turn into the real world here pretty soon, and maybe this is sort of a you know, training ground for what's to come. Sounds scary, but in reality, it's a great opportunity for grown adults to play like kids and make believe. Ah, uh, yes, I can say I'm an optimist. There is, there is some hope, but you know, every once in a while, it's fun to imagine that it all goes to hell. John Bone, The Associated Press, California City, California.